Hey, Ray here from Bricks Maiden. Hey guys, uh, thank you very much for purchasing the product. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the remote template. So the first thing, first things first, you guys have received an email with your with with, with instructions. Uh, it contains a link linking to the remote template of uh, uh, of the Bricks Maven website, which you could follow. But you can also just watch this video, which is maybe just much easier, and also demonstrates how to set things up. So you receive the in, in in the email you can find the URL and the password to actually connect to the remote template. So to set it up when you're in the back end of WordPress, um, make sure that Bricks is installed. Go to settings, then go to templates, and then scroll the way down. And you see the remote template section. Add the URL of the page, which is hsspricksmaven.com, and then add the password that you received in your email box. Once you add the password, save it. And once you've saved it, everything is set up basically. So our next step now is let's go to pages where you can just go to page you can go to uh, you can also create a new template but I'm just go I already have a page set up so it's just easier to show to demonstrate to you guys um, go to edit with bricks open it up open up the editor ah, see I have a header set up already next thing you should do is go to templates and go to Go to remote template. Here you will see the templates. Here are all the templates. And the easiest way you might be thinking, so how do I um, find the correct template? Or maybe I'm looking for a specific uh, template or for a specific section. If you're well known with sections like header, footer, um, hero sections, uh, logo sections, gallery sections, uh, contact sections, etc., etc., etc. We can use the template bundle. So through the template bundle, we have actually categorized all the categories for you, so to easily find what you're looking for. So let's say we, we might, since we already have a header, we might need a hero section, right? Okay, so let's go to the hero section. Uh, currently, all the sections sorry all the templates have 10 blocks in them uh, which will be uh, 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 to grow over time as you know where we're, we're, our goal is to reach the 500 blocks so when we're done most categories will have more than 10 blocks so that's the goal so to continue let's choose a uh, template that we like I think I'll go for let's just go for this one. Let's import the image, insert the template, and there it is. So basically, we just imported a template in the editor. Let's save it and let's just check it out on the front page. And there it is, it's right there. And then this is the stage where you can choose to customize it. You can set this to full screen. You can make it. You can you can you can tweak the height. And as you can see, it's all uh, styled with custom CSS. So um, basically, uh, let's say we. I don't think this is controlling the height. Oh, it has a height for. If we were to move this. It will, of course, not not fill the whole view uh, view uh, viewport. So uh, I'm not going to go into much customization. I'm going to go back, but that's basically how to set up the remote template and start importing uh, the the blocks. I hope this video was uh, valuable, useful. If you have any more questions, let me know. Let me know. Uh, the next video I create, I will show you guys how to use the library to copy a block and to post it in the editor. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.